Hello and welcome to the presentation The Limits of Our World An abstract painting exhibition exploring the genius of Austrian philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein This is Ricardo Sanchez Serrano from Luxembourg and I invite you to come with us in this journey into the work of Wittgenstein. So, who was Ludwig Wittgenstein? He was born in Vienna in 1889 and died in, in Cambridge in 1951. And he's definitely one of the most important philosophers of the last century. He was specifically working in the fields of logic, philosophy of mathematics, and philosophy of language. And between 1929 and 1947, he worked at the University of Cambridge. He worked very closely with philosopher Bertrand Russell. In his life, Wittgenstein published only one small book. The book is called the Tractatus, full name Tractatus Logico Philosophicus, which is a fascinating 70-page textbook printed in 1921. The Tractatus is what I call a brain teaser, a challenge for the intellect, an elaborate web of ideas, at once extremely clear and highly complex. Now, we think that the most intriguing aspect of the Tractatus is the way that the ideas interconnect, and these interconnections are the focus of our exhibition. The Tractatus Logico Philosophicus, or for short, the Tractatus, is divided into seven chapters that contain more or less 200 propositions. The propositions explain Wittgenstein's thinking. The book contains almost no arguments as such, but rather, let's say, declarative statements that are meant to be self-explanatory. Our exhibition is designed around the seven chapters of the book. The exhibit is built around colorful paintings that develop the content of Wittgenstein's book, illustrating the links between the philosopher's major propositions. We're talking about large format paintings. We have used canvases measuring 150 by 1 meters. All paintings of the exhibition are inspired in the, by the seven chapters of Wittgenstein's book and all contain some very personal elements of Wittgenstein and some personal elements also about the artist, as we will see in the following photographs. Now, why shall we dedicate an art exhibition to such a complex theme, to such a complex topic like the Tractatus? Well, one of Wittgenstein's most famous propositions states precisely that whereof one cannot speak, one must remain silent. And we are applying this same concept to Wittgenstein's work. That means, whatever words are insufficient, incorrect or inaccurate, we will try to make art speak for the concepts. That's the idea of the paintings, that they speak for the concepts behind it. Now, the exhibition is an invitation to literally walk the individuals, the visitors, through the Tractatus. Our aim is to make the Tractatus accessible for everyone by presenting abstract paintings that walk the visitors through the concepts contained in Wittgenstein's book. Walking is literal because visitors will walk from one painting to the next throughout the exhibition and the connections are built from chapter to chapter and from proposition to proposition, but they will also explain some key elements of Wittgenstein's very interesting life. The project, which is called The Limits of Our World, has also received important academic endorsement. This exhibition is en enriched by the endorsement of philosophy professors that ensure academic solidity of the project. University professors backing this exhibition called The Limits of Our World include Professor Chiara Capelletto from Milan State University, Albert Hoffman from the Philopraxis in Switzerland, 
Professor Aldo Frigerio from the Catholic University of Milan, Professor Luis Vergara Anderson from Iberoamericana University in Mexico, Professor Andrea Pinotti from Milan State University, and also Professor Rachel Weisman from Durham University in the UK. They have all extended endorsement letters detailing that the support, the academic support behind this work has academic rigor. Now, we think that this exhibition is important for the relevance of culture and for philosophy. People in Europe and in the world identify easily other philosophers with their home countries, but not precisely Wittgenstein. So like Heidegger to Germany or Descartes, to France, or of course Socrates to Greece, are easily identified, but this is not the case with Wittgenstein yet. And yet we think that Wittgenstein is to philosophy what, for example, Klimt is to painting in Austria, or Freud to psychology, or even Mozart to music. Now, we would like to ask for your help to make this exhibition a reality. How, what kind of help do we need? First and most importantly, we are looking for a good venue across Europe, in different cities across Europe, to present the exhibition. So if you happen to know of a place, of a gallery or a corporation or any other cultural space where the exhibition could be presented, please do let us know. There are other ways in which you can also support us. For example, if you can help us communicating, driving attention, giving promotion to the, to the project, that would be highly valuable. valuable. Also providing us endorsement letters from your institutions could be a good idea. Or getting us in contact with art foundations, art sponsors, cultural organizations that could support us, etc. could also be a big help. If you can refer us to any Austrian company maybe interested in promoting innovation, thinking out of the box, or talent, or creativity. That could also be of great help. And of course, if you can provide us some funding, mainly for promotional materials, for web and social media, for logistics, and for the vernissage, that would be also highly appreciated. But most importantly, and mainly, we are looking for venues. Now, how and where could we run this art show? Well, it's pretty simple. In reality, this exhibition is a very easy to organize show. Our exhibition is very flexible in terms of the areas in which it can be presented. Ideal venues include, for example, embassies, consulates, universities, any sort of galleries or museums, cultural institutions of all kinds, private corporations, and so forth. The works are easily and economically transported between destinations, and the paintings can be quickly mounted and dismounted. In terms of the area that we need, we are also very flexible, but we are aiming at an exhibition area of around 300 square meters, with a total length of walls of up to 90 meters. So imagine a couple of rooms like the one shown in this picture. Now, the exhibition has already been shown in a couple of places, basically corporate buildings, and there we have adapted it to much uh, smaller areas. This is, for example, a building in Brussels where the exhibition was shown with a total wall length of less than 56 linear meters. So this is enough. We have also presented the exhibition at the corporate building in Vienna, in Austria, which was very relevant due to the fact that Wittgenstein was from Vienna. And here we managed to get the exhibition in a total length of only 24 linear meters, and it worked well. So what else could be organized around the exhibition, apart from simply showing the paintings, of course? Well, several things. An opening conference can be delivered at no cost in either English, German, French, Italian, or Spanish. We could organize guided tours, also maybe at a marginal additional cost. 
We could also create exhibition catalogs and, and this could be displaying logos or, of sponsors or corporate sponsors with messages from those institutions supporting us. But also the exhibition could serve as, let's say, a framework to embassies or other corporations to use it as an excuse to get together with maybe clients or with the people of their different communities and have an excuse to talk about art and philosophy and other creative stuff. We believe this project may also be attractive to any innovative companies, that's corporate companies. We believe that leading companies that are proud of their creative and innovative DNA could benefit from this cultural project because the project has a big level of innovation and uniqueness and the fact that it connects various disciplines makes it a great showcase for out-of-the-box thinking. So it is like a perfect vehicle for companies that want to communicate their modernity and originality to their employees and to the market in general. So just about, uh, just a word about myself, about the creative artist. So here you have some information on myself. I have been painting for more than 40 years and I am residing in Luxembourg since middle of 2019. And this, all, this story about Wittgenstein, it all started from a casual causality analysis created around the book of the Tractatus which I created as part of my philosophical studies down in Mexico many, many years ago. So what I have done is I have pl plotted the analytical connections between some of the most fascinating propositions of the Tractatus in order to make the text easier to understand and more approachable for the general public. The idea in a nutshell is to bring philosophy to the general public in a very accessible way. So, if you have questions, comments, or suggestions, please do contact us. Here are the information details. You can contact us anytime and we will be very, very glad to receive your support and your help. Thank you very much. This has been Ricardo Sanchez Serrano from Luxembourg telling you about the exhibition, The Limits of Our World, The Art Behind Wittgenstein's Tractatus. Thank you very much and see you next time.